there is so much information about calisthenics out there. And yet, nothing seems to lay it out in a simple step-by-step -step way. And I wasted years trying to figure out the correct way to actually train. Everyone has a different approach when it comes to training calisthenics. But I made this video specifically for the people who want an actionable plan to go from a total newbie to a gravity-defying beast. So watch this carefully and take some notes. Now pillar one is the strength foundation. Let's start with the most important thing, your foundation. Building pure raw strength. This is the bedrock that everything else in calisthenics is built upon. The key exercises for this step are pull-ups and dips. I recommend starting with the body weight versions and progressively adding weight over time. And initially aim for three to four strength sessions per week and hit those movements hard. You need to progress somehow. You need to fucking pump your muscles. And for pull-ups, work up until you can do 15 of them. For dips, shoot for 25. Once you're able to do that, then you should start adding weights. The best goal that I have actually found is from Ian Barzingel. Doing 20 kilogram pull-ups for 10 reps and 40 kilogram dips for 10 reps as well. This is usually a solid foundation. But yet again, you might not need that much. What do you mean you don't need that much? Wait. Now here is one of the most important things. You need to decide whether your goal is to get bigger and lift heavier or to gain impressive calisthenic skills. Choosing one path or the other is crucial because trying to do both at the same time will slow your progress. This is very important. Now for the next step, if you choose to train skills, then listen up. Pillar number two is skill acquisition. Now, once you've built that baseline strength, it's time to actually start training skills. Handstands, planches, front levers, muscle ups. And I suggest picking two skills to train at the same time. If you choose more than two, you might find it hard to train any of them. A good example would be that you are doing a handstand and a back lever. This example is for the beginners, for the total beginner. If you already are able to do that, to a certain degree, then you can try the planche and the front lever one. But certainly the best option in this part is that you choose skills which are push and pull. Pushing exercises are handstands, planches, handstand push-ups, 90 degree push-ups, one arm handstands might I'd even consider it. And for the pulling movement you have front levers, muscle ups, even hefestos, you name it. And you should dedicate at least three sessions per week. And this is the bare minimum because volume is extremely important when it comes to chasing skills. And on your skill days, spend at least an hour training them. Start with a third or 15 minute warm up, then go straight into the hardest variations. Now, this is very important for skill training. Two, three to five max effort attempts. Then, slowly scale it down to the easier variation so you don't completely fatigue yourself. And the main key is to avoid training till failure. Most guys get this totally wrong. When it comes to skills, you don't do a lot of intense training. Volume is more important than intensity. So you want to leave your sessions with something, some power still left in your tank. So you should probably aim somewhere between 70% of your output. Then, every one to two weeks, choose a specific day when you feel that you have rested enough, go all out and do a max effort day. Now, pillar number three is the hybrid approach. Now, after you have spent some time actually building some strength and getting a few skills, it's time to combine them into a somewhat structure so it doesn't look so fucking radical. And I recommend a three-month split. Three months you're going to focus on strength building and for three months you're going to practice skills. And this hybrid approach allows you to reap the benefits of both skill training and strength training in a sustainable way. By breaking it up like this, you can really dedicate yourself to one focus at a time without letting one area hold another area back. Then when you switch to the other pillar, you'll be primed and ready to make rapid progress. It's quite easy. Get to a level when you feel comfortable pumping out pull-ups. A good example would be 15 pull-ups, 25 dips. When you feel comfortable in those, start doing skills. In the meantime, leave the strength aspect for the side a little bit, attain a few skills, 
like a handstand, a handstand push-up or a front lever. Once you have a certain skill that you want, go back into the strength building part. Do that for three months. When the three months is over, work on your handstands again. Work on your front levers again. Now keep in mind that the strength fundamentals is one of the most important parts. Because if you don't have enough strength, you aren't able to do any skills. So it is extremely important and crucial that you actually build strength. When you can do 10 pull-ups, that doesn't mean you're strong. When you can do 15 pull-ups, that doesn't mean you're strong. What matters is that you have the endurance to do the pull-ups every single day. That is a clear indicator that you're well suited to start actually learning the skills. But remember, this is a fucking lifestyle. You need to really dedicate yourself into it if you want to see progress. This isn't as easy as going to the gym and lifting weights. If you want the skills especially, it takes real dedication and effort. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm glad to answer them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.